Hello, in this video I shall demonstrate how to set up BHAT testing. BHAT is a BDD framework. BDD stands for Behavioural Driven Development and it is essentially a way for you to define rules in plain English and then use those rules to test the functionality of your applications. So I'll get started right away. Now I'm going to use Composer in this tutorial and if you're not familiar with Composer or don't have it set up then I suggest you pause the video and go and download and set up Composer. The documentation is pretty great and easy to follow but you will need that to complete this tutorial. As usual with Composer I will start by setting up a composer.json file Uh, the quick require statement I'll explain what this code does in a moment Now what this code is going to do is it is going to grab bhat version 3.0.0 to version 4 or below version 4 and php unit version 5 to version 6 or below version 6. That's what the carrot does. It says get the version between the version numbered here and the next major release. So now that's set up. I'll launch the command line and simply run the command composer install and it should go and grab those packages and it is installed and didn't take as long as I thought it would we can see we have vendor bin bhat file and yep so the next command is actually I'll clear command line first. I'm going to run vendor backslash b hat backslash bin I mean backslash b hat and then init and that will initialize the project. Remember to use forward slashes if you're using git bash or Linux or Mac I say. Um, yep so it's created this features folder and a bootstrap folder with a context file, a default context file. Now next thing I'm going to do is add a feature that we are going to test and that goes inside the features folder. I'll name it basket for the sake of this tutorial. And this is where I'm going to define a feature which is what is going to be tested. I'll name it basket and next I'm going to add three lines which first say the benefit of this feature then secondly says the user or the role for the feature and thirdly what the feature is. So I will add order to purchase products as a customer I must add products to my basket simple as that you can add more I mean this isn't used for configuration so you can add more lines to describe what this what the feature is but the recommended minimum is to have these three lines because they just make it easy or easy to understand what the feature is. Next I'll add a scenario. Um, to my basket. This is going to be very simple just to demonstrate what you can do. And I will add some tests to this scenario. So first I'll put when 
I add one product to my basket then I have one product in my basket and I'll add one more scenario incorrect two products to my basket when I add one to my and I add more product I have two Right, so now I've got my feature set up. Here's where we get to the automated testing part. If I run Vendor Bin B Hat now, this is another very useful element to B Hat is it's going to tell me the code I need to add to my feature context file. And the feature context file is the file that actually has the functions that map to these so these scenarios these tests here they will map to a function and we do that through the word in here so if I and yep so I can just copy and paste this code here to my feature context file but Another cool feature is I don't actually have to copy and paste it. If I add this, these flags to the vendor bin b hat command, then it will do it for me. Now if I open that feature context file, you can see it's added these functions for me. So the final piece is to add one more class. I'm going to add it to this bootstrap file because bhat auto loads anything from this file by default. It comes with an auto loader. So um, function that counts the items right that should do it now I'll just need to add a bit of code to here see first
instantiate the basket class, which as aforementioned will be auto loaded. Now I'm going to use PHP units assertion function. As you probably noticed, I added the PHP unit library in the JSON um, composer.json file, and that will provide the. Um, sorry, one second, let me just. PHP unit. Quick Google search, PHP. So it is PHP unit. get the inval because b hat passes everything as strings so and then we want this basket count now finally I'm going to copy and paste this code because it does the same thing. And now if I run the tests, they should come back as correct. Oh, there's a uh, return count and this. Second time lucky. Yep, yeah, see, they've passed there. Let me just clear. Hang on, run that again. Yep, you can see two scenarios, two passed, five steps, five passed. So that is, these are the scenarios and these are the steps and they've all passed. With these steps mapping to these functions. As you can see, these comments, these doc blocks at the top are what maps the um, steps to the function. So if I add product to my basket matches I add forget about the number product to my basket now there's one more thing I'm going to show you and that is a configuration file which uses the YAML syntax 
and has the dot yml extension so i'll add that in, name it bhat dot yml and i can add some configuration settings to this so first i'll set up the default profile then suites default suite then i'll set up context and this is where you add your context so obviously our context is called feature context which is the default name but you can name it something else and add that in here or you can add extra context if you want to have more than one and i can have more than one profile so i'll add a second profile this name is profile b to keep it simple add some suites or a suite call it default again and you can add context using different syntax you can add them inside square brackets like this and this one i'm going to add a second suite and i'll call that suite b just to keep it simple and again i'll add feature context actually I'll add te test context just to show you what I mean so every other profile uh, extends the first profile so it gets all the configuration in the default profile you know it gets that as in that will be passed on to any secondary profiles but when I call when I run the test it will only execute the default profile so to execute any other profiles I need to actually pass in the profile name using this syntax dash dash profile and then profile B and we should see an error now because yep yeah, see test context does not exist because I specified here that we're using the test context that doesn't actually exist so if i change that to feature context now we should see two sets of the same test okay and yep see there's the first test and that is because of this suite, the default suite, and here is the second test, and that is from the second suite here, suite B. So I'm gonna leave it there. There's loads more you can learn about this. Um, you can do lots of stuff, like you can integrate it with Drupal. Uh, you can test, you can use the Mink extension, which allows you to test uh, using the browser emulator. No, so if you want to learn more, I suggest you read up. There's some great documentation out there. And I may make a follow-up video at some point going into more detail about the more intricate parts and how to test using a browser emulator, etc, etc. Uh, thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, I'd be very grateful if you could like it and share it. And I'd be even more grateful if you subscribe to my channel. Until next time, thank you. Goodbye.